Hi guys and welcome back to more in Bruges on the Force Nines YouTube channel, continuing the Circle of Bruges save on FM 2015 today. Uh, and as for our next game, we've got a cup game coming up next, Belgian Cup. We're away against, a uh, home rather, against AA again. Didn't realise that now we're at the quarterfinals, it's a two-legged affair. So uh, there is another game, but it's not for another month because there is the uh, winter break to uh, deal with. So this the uh, second leg won't be for another month. So today, what I might do is do the game game, and then maybe jump straight into the Charleroi game. We'll see. Um, we've dropped a few places in the positions. We were second last time, and we closed the gap behind Club Brewster four with a victory over Be Rosalind Beveren. Since then, though, we've dropped some points, and the Standard Liège and Atletico Madrid, uh, Atletico Madrid, and Anderlecht have overtaken us and elect on goal difference. So we're now eight points off top and we're four points off of second place. But we're still doing very well. Um and elect as well have for some reason only played thirteen games. Why is that? Is that because they're in Europe? I don't know. But um they have a lot of games in hand and elect so they could yeah go all the way up there. Why have they played so few games? I don't know. It might be because they're well they're in they're in the Europa League, aren't they? So that might be part of it. They've ah, uh, they had loads of games. That I mean, the season started around here, and they had a Europa League third quarter round, and the playoff, and uh, the group stages. So uh, they've got a lot of games to contend with. Um, and then there, yeah. So they've got how many games in hand? Did they actually have was it five, five games in hand? So they could get fifteen points, which put them up to uh, forty six. So Anderlecht could yet, you know, just completely take the lead in this um, in this league, but we'll see. Uh, let's look at our games then, um, the ones we played off screen. Uh, so the win against Bevelin was our first win after three winless games. Um, played four games off screen. Uh, we didn't lose any of them, so uh, that's good. You know, we've not lost a game. But um, three draws and a win is probably not the best. And that win coming in the cup as well. So three draws in a row in the league. Start off with a game at home against RMP, who we took on in the first game of the season. Uh, and there was an early injury hit. Well, not early, but an injury at half time. We were behind in this game. Peter Jan Montaigne scored in the 17th minute to give RMP a lead. Steph Balls was injured pretty much on uh, half time. And we brought on Dusan in his place. Sam Valka got the equaliser for us. 76th minute, came on for a uh, a poor Suki Tapazu who had a bad game. Uh, and a 1-1 draw. I mean, we had a few more shots than them in this game, and we had a bit more of the ball. But, um, I say, in terms of, like, chances to create... I mean, look at this. We probably should have got something out of this. Um, more passes completed. A um, couple of chances. Few, like, yeah, just more shots, more, more, more chances. So I think we could have got something out of that, and we didn't, which is a bit annoying, but never mind. Uh, then the cup game, the uh, seventh round, we knocked out Roselaire with a 2 0 win. Uh, made a few changes in this match. We brought in uh, Martinez in the game. Of course, Captain Cornelis is injured, so Omizuzzi has come in at right back. Uh, and uh, also, I made a couple of changes here. Tanaka, I moved in the hole, where well, he's playing in the hole. And I brought on Chris Dobal for his first start. Tanaka and Chris Dobal both got goals, ninth minute and the 44th minute. Uh, 2 0 win. Uh, nice to cut for the ball. We dominated the game. Roselaire limited to their shots, only one shot on target overall. Um, yeah, nice performance, good performance, and 2 0 win. And that gave us a, a tie against AA Ghent in the quarterfinals. Uh, and then the last two draws away from home. The first one came against Westerlo. Uh, again, we went behind. Michael Lalmond put Westerlo ahead just before half time. Uh, and we got the equaliser through Baselic Gergic, a uh, substitute, in the 89th minute, so a very late equaliser and probably didn't deserve this because um, I think Westerlo were the better team in this one uh, made a couple of changes so uh, Chris Dobal came on for uh, the very poor again Suta Kupazu uh, and then he, he himself got injured on the 73rd minute and we had to bring him off so that was a bit of annoying but um, it's okay I don't think he missed any game time from it so 1-1 one, one draw and then the most recent game which I played about 10 minutes ago um, we were away against KV Mecklen. Um, we actually took the lead this time. We went ahead. Junior Tanaka gave us the goal. Played him as a tricky striker this time. Moving Chris Dobal into the hole. And he scored a goal. Uh, and uh, then they, they got the equaliser just before half-time. Dalibor Veselinovic scored for Mecklen. 
Uh, pretty even game. I think we dominated possession. We had a lot more of the ball, but Mecklen did well with what they had, and I think it was a pretty even game. So that's it, really. Um, nothing else really happened off screen apart from a few more injuries and stuff. We still have a lot of players missing. Fortunately, people are starting to come back now. So, um, yeah, Viola has uh, returned from his injury, but there are still people missing. So, Stiff Wills took a knock, and he's not quite back yet. He's going to be out for a couple more days. So we'll miss him today. Cornelis is a long term injury. Uh, he had a torn hamstring. He's going to be out for another two months. Uh, Kenneth Hudre is another long term injury. That was a slip disc, 10 days and three weeks. And Kabanga was also a slip disc. He was going to be out for six weeks or to two months. So, uh, yeah, a few players missing here today. And we're against Ghent, who uh, knocked us out of the cup last season. So hopefully you can get a bit of revenge here. But it's a two legged affair. So I say, if we can do a good job at home, then the away game, hopefully we can take it easy. But I think we do still need to get a solid lead here. At home, so it's going to be difficult. And the wage budget is a big problem, though. As you can see, it's up minus twelve thousand over twelve thousand overspent um, because they changed it because of the poor financial situation of the club. And I'm trying to sell Faris Haroon. I've offered him out for zero. I've asked him to speak to clubs, and no one seems to want him at the moment. I know it's not a transfer window, but I I need to make as much money as I can. And the reality of it is, is we're going to have to sell players in January. I've offered new contracts to people. Hopefully, that'll make it a bit lower. So people are taking wage cuts, like people that people's contracts that expire in 2016. I've offered them new deals and tried to give them cuts as when I as and when I can. Some people aren't taking them. For example, um, Steph Wills wasn't accepting a wage cut. So uh, unless we can change his mind, he will be leaving at the end of the season. So after all that, then maybe our budgets will be okay. And then once we actually finish the season, we'll be getting all the prize money from a good league position. So hopefully that will make things a bit better. But we'll see. Um, let's go into today's game, though. That's enough talking against AA again. Let's see how we do. So they're playing a 3-5-2. Uh, I'm going to stick with this formation. It's done well for me, um, despite the fact that we are drawing a lot of games. So as it's the cup, we're going to bring on Emiliano Martinez. I said bring him on. There we go. Uh, we'll have Omazuzzi. I think with the defensive line, we'll leave it as it. We'll leave it as is. And I think Ndiaye and Martins um, aren't doing too badly, actually. So I think we'll leave them as they are. Uh, I don't want to change anything, actually. I think we're okay. I mean, these players are doing fairly well. So I think we'll leave that as it is. And I don't want to change the bench yet. Viola's not quite up to scratch. I mean, he's back playing, but he's not quite match fit. So I think we'll leave this as it is and we'll just make that one changing goal. Um, well, Van Acker didn't play in the last game, so we'll leave that as it is. We'll leave Van Acker on the bench and let's get into the match. Here we go. Circle of Bruges versus AA again. Let's see how we do against the real-life Belgian champions who have the ball first here. And the first highlight, of course, comes to nothing. But we've got a corner here. It's cleared away by Nielsen and we've got an early highlight here. Seventh minute and Wilson has the ball. Chris Dobal. He's dispossessed. But we've still got the ball here. The highlight will continue in DA to Wilson. Tanaka's there and Tanaka shoots over. First chance goes to us. And there's a clear cut chance as well. And we've got another one here. 11th minute and it's the second highlight of the game. Chris Dobau. That was a bad ball. But it's one. No. What happened there? Well, that was an awful shot. That number five. Who was that? Belaid. I think he could have gone for the header there, but he didn't get it. So. We got a reprieve there. Um, here we go. Boyce to Chris Dobal. Tanaka's there. Tanaka scores. Good start. 1 0. 25th minute. And the Japanese signing from this season has done very, very well. I'm, that's a ver I'm very pleased with their signing. Some of them haven't gone so well, but Tanaka is doing the job. Excellent stuff. But Boyce with the throw in, pass to Christo by chess it down, ball goes into the box, Tanaka, chess it down and shoots. Nice goal. Half an hour played now. Vitas with a throw in for Ghent. Bruno Gomez, who's carrying a knock, but he's uh, carrying on. Here he is again. De Van der Bruggen with lots of space there, finds Pedersen, and he goes for the shot, and it's gone over everyone. Bruno Gomez won it back. Here's Simon, and M Martins clears it away for a throw. Good defending there. Bernadeschi with a throw in to Neto. He loses that out to Ndia. Chris Dobbo here. Can we break? He finds Tanaka. He's got people to the right of him. Wilson. 
And we can both get across in. The cross is blocked. End to end stuff here. It's going well. Simon. It's an exciting game so far. Half an hour in. Simon to Bruno Gomez. Pedersen. Omazuzzi with a pass back to Martinez who clears it up pitch. Here's Simon again. Pro yeah, Simon or Simon? Probably Simon. I'm guessing he's going to be like French or something. Pedersen's there, but Martinez holds on to it. We've got two, goal two goalkeepers who are doing very well at the moment. Martinez at the moment is um, my cup goalkeeper. Um, so he's going to be playing this one. Um, and Buric has been doing well himself, actually. So I'm pleased with the two goalkeepers that have brought in in the past two se this season, actually. Get well. Gomez uh, scores the goal. He's carrying a knock, but he scored. He's got a few goals for the game, actually. So I think after Gatsuniga last season, these two have been um, pretty good. And I'm pretty happy with them. To Omazuzzi to Wilson. Here's Cristobal. Finds NDA. Shoot. He doesn't shoot. He finds De Hena, but is um, parried away. Tanaka's there. And Tanaka makes it 2-1. And his second goal of the game. Excellent stuff by the Japanese guy. This is going very well, actually. 2-1 up. Um... And with less of the ball as well. We're controlling the game. And that's half time. So we are doing well. I think um, I'm happy with your performance so far. Keep it up. Um, don't need to change anything, I don't think. I think we'll leave it on control. Omazuzzi to Cristobal. Uh, I'm going to make a couple of instruction changes, actually. We will stick to positions. And I think we will um, try and slow it down a bit. And see if we can do that. Cristobal's um, a bit poor on the conditioning, but he's oh, he's back up now. 56 minutes played so far. Not a highlight in the second half. Um, we are going to make a change here. We're going to take off Cristobal and we're going to bring on Veselic Gergic. And De Hain is not doing too well, actually. He's playing pretty poorly. But we'll leave it as is. Um, again, with the ball here from the goal kick. Here's Gershon and here's Nilsson. Finds De Poitre. Van de Bruggen. Or Bruggen. It's probably Bruggen since it's Circle of Bruges. It's probably Van de Bruggen. Neto to Van de Bruggen. De Poitre. Bedersen. Hold on to Martinez. They've, there's been some pretty bad shooting by Gen, actually. They've had a few shots, but. I've had, I've had five clear cut chances. How has that happened? It's just one goal from him. Right, we're going to make that other change. I'm going to take off De Hena because he's not playing very well. Um. We're going to move Wilson to the left. And we're going to put on Cheeky Nando. And then we'll leave it at that for now. And then if we need to make one more change, then we will. Hopefully we won't have to, though. We've not, not had any knocks yet today. I know I've just jinxed it. Um, 84 minutes, though. We're going to go defensive for the last few minutes. And I'm going to bring on uh, Van Acker for NDA because he's getting a bit tired. Try and get freshen it up a bit in that defensive midfield position because that's important for me they've done they've done a good job today been very happy with them the last highlight of the game this i think it's going to come down to full time there it goes and we've got a 2-1 lead in the first leg which is tentative i'll say that much um don't let yourself get complacent for the next match we'll say that see now we've got the second leg to deal with and it's of course it's away from home so this could be difficult. It's going to be very, very tight. We'll see, though. Tanaka did very well with his two goals. See, I, I'm guessing that means... I'm guessing that's, that it's an away goal. Um, yeah, reduces the margin of error. So uh, what I think I'll do is I think we will go on to that next game against Charleroi and hopefully it won't be too long of a video. Do you know, player interactions in this save seem to be going very well. I'm, I'm getting a lot of people that say, you know, I'm happy to wait for my chance. I don't think, I think there's only been like once maybe where it said, it's not good enough, I want to move because you're not playing me enough. It's going very well, but so far I haven't had a lot of people that have come to me saying that another club's interested. That's going to be where it gets frustrating when one week after the transfer window closes, you get a thing saying, Oh um, yeah, I really want to join. I really want to join this club. They're in a higher league, so I want to join them. It doesn't help when that's three days after the transfer window's closed. Alrighty, here we go. We're against Charleroi. If we lose here today, then they overtake us. But hopefully that won't happen. We'll see how we do. 
Uh, a win will take us level on points with Anderlecht, but of course they have all those games in hand. So we'll see how we do. Let's go to the uh, team selection then, and we'll decide what we're going to do here today. We're going to bring back uh, the other guy into goal, Jasmine Burich. Um We're going to bring off Martins because he's not doing too good. We'll bring on Van Acker for him. He's a bit low on the fitness front. Uh, we're also going to take off Wilson and start Nando. Uh, we will put Veselik Gergic in for uh, uh, Chris Dobell. And I think we'll leave that there. Wolves is back, but again, he's not quite fit. Uh, we have Viola as well, actually, so we could bring on him. Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave Wilson out of it. No, Chris Dobell out of it entirely, I think. Where's Wilson gone? Did he go down the bottom? There he is. There we go. We'll do that. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. Well, oh, you can say that. That's fine. Seems to be working quite well. The ask the assistant to do it. Here we go. Uh, it is Charleroi that kick off. We're at home. Hopefully this will go better today. We need a win. Again, we're winless in three in the league. But Francois has the ball here. It's headed away. And Bruno just shot it over. The first highlight actually came with a, a shot. Not a chance, a shot. But nothing since then. Ten minutes played. Borden's got a yellow card. They've got a corner. Belloid heads it away. Burich catches the ball. It's been all Charleroi so, so far on the highlight front. We haven't had one yet. But let's see if we get something from this. NDA passes back to Borden. Who's on a yellow. Hopefully he doesn't get a red. We haven't had one yet, I don't think. NDA tries to find Tanaka, but doesn't. Here's Thibaut Van Acker, who missed the last game. And De Heine goes for the cross. He's got it again. Can he shoot? He doesn't shoot. He passes Tanaka, who scores his third goal in two. He's eight for the season. He's doing well. I'm pleased with that. That's a very good signing. So, yeah, that's really, really good. In fact, how, did we actually pay for him? I can't remember. He's on loan from Sporting, isn't he? Yeah. So... Let's see if we can actually buy him. Because I want to buy players. I don't want to loan all these players. We've got about five players on loan, I think. And I think three or four of them are from Sporting. Of course, we have Torino as well, who's our new feeder club. We asked for another one. And we do have another parrot club in Torino. So that could be something to look at for January if we need players. But we've got a lead here. We've played 35 minutes now. Uh, Bresenic Gergic isn't looking too hot. That's a bit of a bummer. And I think half time we will make that change because he is he is doing pretty badly. So that was okay. Um, we got a lead, so I think we're playing well. But there is room for improvement. We'll start. Um, I was meant to make that change. Um, right, we're going to. Oh, we didn't. Oh, Chris Dalbar's not in at all, is he? Right. All right, change of plan. Um, we're going to play two strikers. We're going to bring on Sam Valker because he hasn't played very much and I think he deserves to play more. We'll change Tanaka to a Trekatista and we'll do that and we'll play a bit of a different formation. We're playing a 4-4-2 wide with uh, two defensive midfielders, which is actually another one of our tactics. So we'll see how we do with it. Fifty-five minutes played, no highlight yet. We haven't had a highlight since the goal. There's been nothing else happened really, and they just hit the post, and it's uh, gone out for a corner. But boys have got there first. Francois will take the corner. It's come out and it's gone for another one, and we've got a few highlights here. This is the third corner in a row, I think. Francois again. It's headed away by Belloid. Van Acker will chase it down, but loses out, and uh, we need to try and get it out of our out of our area. That is the end of that highlight, though. And we've still got the 1-0 lead. We've had less shots and we've got more of the ball. It's still 1-0. We've got a highlight here though from a throw-in. Here's Omazuzi. He gets the ball into the box with Tanaka who's uh, dispossessed. Wasn't sure if we we're going to get a penalty for that but we didn't. And DA to Dehena. Can he get a cross in? He's brought down. Penalty. That was right on the corner of the area. The Waste has a yellow card. Who's going to take the penalty? Cornelis isn't isn't playing so who's taking the penalty it's number 18 who i think is tanaka but we'll see who it is it is tanaka 
For a second goal of the game, he goes right and he scores. 2 0. And surely that must be it. We'll leave it on control. As you know, we're going to go to the defend now. I don't think we'll get any more highlights, but we're going to make. We're going to make those last changes. We're going to bring on Wilson for De Haina. And we're going to bring on Martins for NDA. And last five minutes, we're on defensive. Hopefully that will be it. And we can end it there. Or we could get a third. That would help. Uh, hopefully they don't score here though. Francois's got the ball and he completely wastes it. Fine, do that. They've had double last shots, but they've had one half chance and that's it. Marinos to Kebab. I thought that said Kebab for a second. Kebano. Jahic to Saglik. That's full time. 2-0. So we're doing better. Um, no, I think we'll address that. You know, that's good. Um, a good win, boys. Well done. There we go. So two wins in a row. That's good. Um, and then we'll look at what we've got coming up. Club Bruges is coming up. So that will probably be our next live com. Post-match pre press conference about to win. I don't know who's going to win the Ballon d'Or. There's loads of people nominated. No comment. I don't care. Well, I do care. But in a press conference, it's just not. Uh, he had a, yeah, he played very well again, Tanaka. De Haney got two assists, though, so that's good. Unbeaten in six, even though, you know, we're not winning a lot of the games. There's a lot of draws in there. So Club Rouge is coming up. Um, so we've got four games to play off screen, including the Belgian Cup quarterfinal second leg. So I might do a double again tomorrow and do the Ghent and the Club Bruges games. Two pretty big games, actually. If we can get to the Belgian Cup semi-final, that'd be really good. I can't remember where we're actually expected to get in that. Let me see. Uh, Belgian Cup. Minimum expectation is we reach the semi-final. So they want us to beat Ghent. So we need to avoid defeat away from home, really. And they have an away goal, so it might it won't be easy. Pro League is looking very good. We were expected to get mid-table, and we're on course to achieve above mid-table. So it looks like we're going to do well. Um, squad Harmony is good. Wages, they're a bit unhappy because, uh, well, they changed it. So that's not really anything we could do. So, yeah, going very well. Our job status is good. It will cost a considerable sum of money to terminate the manager's contract early. So my job security is very strong. We're doing very, very well. I'm happy with this. Wages are a bit of an issue, though. So hopefully um, that doesn't affect our overall thing. But we are untouchable. So we're not going to get sacked for that, it seems. Hopefully we don't. Uh, so yeah. Um, so next time we we'll, might do a double. Uh, we'll do the Ghent and Club Rouge games. Um, and that'll be it. So uh, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then leave a like down below. And if you want to make any comments, then make, make some comments. And if you want to see my videos as they come up on the uh, subscription feed, on the news feed, then uh, hit the subscribe button. And uh, I'm on 49. I'm one away from 50. And that, that next step could happen this week. I'm hoping so. And speaking of my videos as well, starting Monday, um, my videos will be scheduled. So they will be going out at a certain time instead of just as and when I upload them. So at the moment, I'm literally recording them. I'm editing them, rendering them, and then uploading them. And they're published as soon as they're uploaded. So they come up at like midnight or 1 a.m. or something. That won't be happening from next week. So what, I will get a bit ahead so that the video I've recorded will be uploaded overnight. But won't go live until the following day. So they'll probably go live maybe four o'clock or five o'clock or something like that i haven't decided but they will come up sort of late afternoon so that people will actually see them when they're uploaded and don't have to scroll down a news feed or twitter feed to see when they go live so uh yeah that will be happening um my videos will be going out sort of in the afternoon instead of in the middle of the night so that's it really um so that'll do it for today i think i've spoken for uh, enough and i've been recording for 27 minutes now so that'll do it uh thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video goodbye